Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Elise Ramey. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Michigan State Police are investigating a deadly shooting. It happened late last night at a car wash business on East Holland Avenue. Police say 31 year old Delvin Green was shot inside of the business and taken to a hospital where he died. No one is in custody for the shooting, but if you have any information, call State Police or Crime Stoppers. Oscoda Township Police asking for help finding a missing man. They're searching for 86 year old John Thomas Kitchen. He's 5 foot 8, 200 pounds with gray hair and brown eyes. He was spotted driving west on Bissonette Road in a red 2007 Ford F-150 on Friday, December 9th. He has not returned home since. Kitchen requires supplemental oxygen and daily heart medication. If you have information on his whereabouts, please call Oscoda Township Police. More local news now. One mid-Michigan county is seeing a major bump in car deer crashes this year. The Tuscola County Sheriff's Office says so far this year, deputies have responded to 691 car deer crashes. That's up from 577 for all of last year. The Sheriff's Office says typically November and December are the highest months for car deer crashes, so remain cautious out on the roads. Now here's Matthew with a check of the forecast. Thank you, Elise. We are tracking a fairly quiet Wednesday afternoon with dry weather, just overcast skies. Once we head into tonight, rain and snow mix and actually expecting some freezing rain over in central Michigan. That's going to be the most important part of the forecast. Once we head into tonight, there is a winter weather advisory for Ross Common, Claire, Isabella and Gratiot counties. That's for the counties that do have the best chance to see that icing tomorrow morning. As a result of the timing of this too fairly inconvenient during that morning drive on Thursday, we're issuing a first alert weather day that's going to run from midnight until 10 a.m. and that's just for those four western counties. If you're outside of the advisory, no need to worry about the first alert weather day. Well, as we head into tonight, that's where we'll see it picking up at around midnight and moving towards the northeast through the rest of the overnight hours and even early on Thursday morning. Looks like by around 10 a.m. that system will be completely out of here and then once we head towards the afternoon, mostly dry, could have a few scattered rain showers redevelop across the thumb, but overall much quieter during the afternoon. But we'll also expect the wind to pick up with the system during the overnight hours. Our peak gusts at around 35 to 40 miles per hour out of the east southeast and our wind actually making a significant slowdown during the afternoon as well. 70 forecast is 41 on Thursday, so actually during the afternoon on Thursday, we'll get back up above freezing, so not expecting any of the impacts from the morning to last all day. But then the bigger trend in the 70 forecast is just colder weather. That'll be here to stay highs in the upper 20s and lower 30s through the weekend and to start off next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.